sectarianism and the enemy within. As we've said before, there are two types of enemy. There are two enemies. One of them we know, the enemy outside, the colonialist, who doesn't want the benefit of humanity, who wants the priority of their own desires, their selfish profit and benefit. But the enemy within is like that as well, but he's deceitful. He talks like you, he acts like you, he uses religious tongue and rhetoric to deceive you and to touch your heart. But he, in reality, he aids, supports and works for the enemy and stabs you in the back whenever you try to do good. No one is perfect. Whoever claims anyone above other than Allah and his religion is perfect is a disbeliever. There's no doubt about this reality. Despite this, and despite us always emphasizing on Amrahum Shura Bainum, the concept of Shura, consultation, debate, discussion, free discussion, and the, the ability to critically analyze people, government systems, including especially Iran or other Shia states, or other Muslim states and systems, these people are not sincere. They are causing sectarianism by attacking Rafidi, Shi'i, this and that. Now, we are not Shia or Sunni. We call towards Islam for Muslims to be Muslims before they become Shia Sunni, hold on to the rope of Allah and stick to the Qat'iyat, the definitively established doctrines and practices of Islam agreed by Shia Sunni Ibadi alike. Hence why we gave this message during Eid. And it was, I'm glad we gave, I'm glad we gave this message during Eid. The timing was good because we know how people are, unfortunately. So again, hold to the rope of Allah. Do not disunite. Do not cause factions amongst yourselves. Do not let munafiqeen cause havoc, fitna, and, and disturb the unity, the strength of Muslims. Iran at the moment, whether good or bad, is at the forefront of the resistance. It's the Shia, Hezbollah, and Ansar Allah who are at the forefront of the resistance. When Saudi, UAE, Egypt, Jordan have been silent, not only they were silent, they were working with the tyrants. They were benefiting from the tyrants. What, look at what the so-called King Abdullah al-Hashimi, who doesn't deserve the lineage of uh, Hawashim to be descendant of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, excluding him, no peace or blessings be upon him, curse and damnation be upon the tyrant, the enemy within, who aids the enem enemy and the tyrant who sucks the blood of children over their Muslim brethren. Can you look at the disaster? Can you look at the hypocrisy, the evil of sectarianism and filth? Because they've made their own desires lords besides God. They've made themselves the hukam, who give hukum, who legislate, who make halal and haram when legislation was solely a divine right only. Call these people out, O sectarian people, before you call the people who are at the forefront, inshallah.